today. It's Amanda. I wanted to come to you briefly on a topic, and that topic is pressing faith, not by buttons. You know, many times in life, if we're not careful, we'll allow other people or even ourselves to be triggered or pressed by certain buttons, certain hot buttons. Certain things may invoke a certain response, emotional response, you know, things of that nature. So I wanted to encourage that one who may be going through a time right now where it seems as if, you know, Maybe there are certain things growing up, you know, your paradigm, as a man think of in his heart, so is he, that may invoke a certain type of response. So let me give my disclaimer as I usually do. This message is not for everybody, but this message is definitely for somebody. And I also would like to add in this message that we bind up any type of demonic interference, you know, in the name of Jesus, we bind it up by the fire and the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. We bind up the witchcraft. We bind up the hex. We bind it up right now. Now, in the name of Jesus, this scope is designed to encourage somebody, not designed to be sized up by anybody. So the figure won't work, the hex won't work, the witchcraft won't work. You know, in the name of Jesus, we decree it, we declare it, and it is established. Not only do we have freedom of speech, but the Bible tells us, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And if you're wondering, you know, sometimes people will come on the chat and, you know, put certain things in the chat. So I'm just saying that in advance. Mom. Yeah. You know, Give me a second. You know what, you're ready, you're ready so, to send that to so try to be so press in faith, yeah, not you, you send that not to by yourself. buttons. The Bible tells us the just shall live by faith. And so it's really important to understand that without faith it's impossible to please God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he's a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. So again. You know, the Bible tells us, be angry and sin not. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. God cares about our emotions, but out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So when I'm getting on the scope today, I'm saying try to use your faith as a motivator, not the triggers that may come your way, you know, because the enemy, when I say the enemy, I'm talking about dark principalities. The enemy is very crafty. He knows exactly what button to push. He knows exactly what person to use. And so it becomes a challenge for us to learn how to be moved by our faith, not by our feelings, you know. So I hope that this was able to encourage somebody on today. I got to get ready to get out, out of here. Maybe I'll jump on here a little later. But I wanted to make sure that, you know, I encouraged that person today that needed to hear this. Understand that the more you meditate on the word of God, the more you come to God in prayer and say, Lord, you'll perfect the things which concern me. You may not have it all together. But in James 4, 10, it says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. So hopefully this was designed to encourage somebody on today. Okay. All right. Until next time, shalom. Press in faith, not by buttons.